Hey guys, I have one Docker image in on Docker Hub. Here it is. It's called LK Local Kuvat, which means local images in Finnish, if my Finnish is still any good. And I'm quite proud of it. I'm quite proud of it. But what I don't like is um, Docker's interface because it shows the old build file. So if you had a Golang program, you could have a, a Docker file as simple as these two lines. And I'm, I'm a big proponent of these two lines. But unfortunately, uh, from Golang on build, um, make some assumptions. And the, the whole build image is quite large. I think it was um, almost 300 megabytes, which I thought was crazy because uh, if you statically build LK, it's only like 10 megabytes or something like that. So I did upload a, a newer version and you can see I've done that there. And only when I go through that, I think it shows the newer uh, Docker file, which is this. And once again, I'm using the brilliant uh, Alpine, um, which is like the way I see it is like a, I see it as a, like an Arch Linux with Muzzle C. I'm using Alpine and I'm using it to establish um, a Golang build system uh, with Git, and then I build it, and then I and then and ultimately I remove the uh, the build environment, and I also copy in an example, and or oh, when I make it, um, it it actually has the opportunity to to shove in the Git version, which I find really useful. Like when I use a program, forgive me if I'm the only one. Though I really like to see a version in the program that I'm using. And that's what it looks like. It's obviously not a version to some people. I'm going, for me, I'm actually quite happy to just see a hash. Uh, but I know people prefer to see some ver versioning or something crazy. Um, and then I have this entry port and command thing. And this is quite subtle. This basically says... It will launch off port 3000 and and by SRV by default. But uh, you can, with using Docker syntax, change the last argument and that replaces this this thing. So um, I probably didn't explain that very well, but that allows you to run LK through, um, through a Docker image on your images and be it wherever directory they are. They are. And yes, the output kind of looks like that. All it does is go ransack through your images and create a thumbnail. And then when you click that thumbnail, it um, uh, shows you the original image. I'm using it uh, on all my, um, my old family pictures. And my parents really like it. And the whole idea of local Kuva is that it kind of looks like the iOS sort of pictures interface, you know, simple square images, it's responsive, works on mobile, works on desktop. So I really hope you like um, local Kuvat, uh, LK, and you begin to use it. I, I'm, I'm kind of using it as like an image viewer um, on my local machine. So I just go into turn on type LK, enter, and I'm looking at images. And I really would like to see other people using it so please 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 give lk a try you don't have to use the docker file you could just build it on your local system but either any other way any is your choice see you guys